Hi dear friends! In this video we are going to talk about the interception procedures. Uh, this video I think will be quite short and uh, here we are going to discuss uh, the interception case itself and uh, we'll talk a little bit about uh, interception visual signals. Uh, in what cases are you going to be intercepted? So aircraft can be intercepted if, uh, in case of flying within the prohibited or restricted areas or when the pilot of the uh, intercepted aircraft is not confirming ATC instructions or if the aircraft is engaged in the prohibited activity. What to do? What is the procedure uh, in case if you are intercepted? So first, need to understand communication, respond and follow the instructions of intercepting aircraft. Notify if possible the appropriate ATS unit. And uh, you need to uh, establish radio communication with the intercepting aircraft on uh, the emergency frequency 121.5 MHz. And if case if there is no contact, uh, you need to repeat the radio communication on the at the emergency frequency 243.0 MHz. So if your aircraft equipped with SSR uh, secondary surveillance radar transponder, uh, you need to set uh, squawk code 7700. This is the emergency uh, code. Unless, uh, of course, uh, you are not uh, instructed to do something to set another squawk code by your uh, ATS unit. Let's talk a little bit about the phraseology. It's quite simple. So in case if you are not possible to uh, communicate on one common language with the intercepting aircraft, you just need to use this phraseology. The table is quite short. Let's uh, spell uh, those phrases out. So call sign, follow, descend, you land, proceed. Those are instructions for used by intercepting aircraft. And phrases used by intercepted aircraft. Again, call sign, will call, cannot, repeat, am lost, may die, hijack, land, descend. So everything is easy. In case if the commands or instructions of ATS and intercepted, intercepting aircraft are conflicting between each other, you need to comply with the instructions of given by intercepting aircraft. And uh, in case of uh, the hijacking, if your aircraft is hijacked, uh, you need to communicate if it's, in case if it's possible. Let's talk from here about the visual signals given by intercepting and intercepted aircraft in case if there is no uh, radio communication. So uh, the red one, <coughs> sorry, the red text, uh, those phrases given by intercepting aircraft and the normal black one phrases, those phrases are given by intercepted aircraft. So in case if you are intercepted, uh, the intercepting aircraft will give you a message visual signal, you have been intercepting, follow me. It looks like uh, the intercepting aircraft rocks wings from a position slightly above and ahead of, and normally a little bit from the left of your, uh, say, the track. And after this, it will give a slow level turn, normally to the left, uh, to our desired heading. You need to respond to this uh, visual signal by rocking wings and uh, following the instruction of the intercepting aircraft. This will be the phrase, uh, the visual signal uh, understood will comply. At night time, the intercepting aircraft will uh, accompany those uh, visual signals by flashing navigation lights at irregular intervals. The same for intercepted aircraft at night time you have to respond uh, by this visual signal with uh, additionally with flashing navigation lights at uh, irregular intervals. 
So in case if um, the situation is cleared, the intercepting aircraft uh, can give you a uh, visual signal, you may proceed. Uh, this uh, visual signals, signal is, uh, looks like a breakaway maneuver from the intercepted aircraft consisting of the climbing, uh, abrupt climbing turn of uh, 90 degrees or more without crossing the line of flight of your intercepted aircraft. You have to respond by uh, the rocking wings and follow your uh, intended route. Uh, this uh, your response will be understood, will comply. But in case if the intercepting aircraft decided to make you land on some airdrome, if the situation uh, gets worse, uh, so it uh, could give you the instruction to land at this airdrome. It looks like the intercepting aircraft will circle the airdrome by its traffic pattern lowering landing gear and flying over runway in the direction of landing. In that case, if you accept this uh, visual signal, this instruction, you have to extend landing gear, uh, follow the intercepting aircraft and after overflying the runway, if you consider the landing again safe, uh, you may proceed to land. At night time, uh, these uh, visual signals are accompanied with turned on steady landing lights. In case if you assessed the airdrome and understood that uh, this airdrome is impossible to land, you need to give the visual signal airdrome you have designated is inadequate. In daytime it looks like the retracting landing gear while passing over landing runway at a height between uh, 1000 feet and 2000 feet about the airdrome level. And uh, you need to continue to uh, circle the airdrome. In nighttime Instead of uh, retracting landing gears, you have to flash landing lights at the same time passing over landing runway uh, and uh, continue to circle the aerodrome. If, um, in case the aircraft is not equipped by landing lights, you need to flash any other navigation lights. And intercepting aircraft could uh, give you instruction to proceed to another aerodrome by giving you follow me signal or uh, it uh, could give you a signal, instruction, you may proceed, for example. In common situation, when you cannot uh, follow the instruction of intercepting aircraft, you have to give the visual signal cannot comply. Uh, in uh, day or night time, uh, it will be like uh, regularly switching on and off all available lights. But uh, in the manner that uh, it has to be distinct uh, from the flashing uh, lights irregularly because the next uh, situation will be uh, the next visual signal will be in distress uh, that visual signal is uh, uh, looks like irregularly flashing all available lights there's a difference between cannot comply and in distress so in that case uh, intercepting aircraft uh, have to give have to respond to your uh, visual signal by for example giving your instruction, you may proceed, or giving you another instruction. So that's it about the interception. Thank you very much. See you next time.